Okay, people. I apologize if this is going to seem all over the place, but I'll try to keep it um, together because there's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, one of them beginning, because again, I don't really know what people want to hear me talk about. I will never, never run out of material. I just seem to like to talk about though what I want to, but, uh, while it seems like it's always about love and relationships, I realized I also haven't talked about an ongoing thing with them. Um, I'm going to lump this in the ca category of achieving and accomplishing. And because uh, I was going to say work ethic, this has nothing to do with work, work ethic. It's just usually at work, I'm thinking about this. And those of you who haven't listened to me or before or are updated in my world of working aside from doing this and uh, basically food service is I get constantly tested because I'm doing basically really simple tasks that require me to count. It's like, how bad can you fuck this up? Me. So I have a lot of anger in myself. It's just kind of like, it's not even that I'm thinking about a bunch of things or anything like that. It's almost like multitasking, um, accompanied with some OCDs and double and triple checking, which I always think that's a good idea. But all of this, I wanted to do kind of like even a, just a mini episode on, you know, I am really hard on myself and expect a lot from myself just because I know what I'm capable of and um, wanting to do really good at whatever I'm doing. But um and I never remember, am I right-brained? Is it the, I'm like the more creative, so anything super technical or um, definitely involving math or numbers or whatever, I just suck. And I will gladly say suck. Um, I wouldn't say, though, I embrace the suck because I want to be better at things like that. Um, I want to learn. I want to be able to retain, and especially when it comes to the damn camshaft talk in regards to muscle cars and my Chevy Nova that I um, am fine with just practicing driving and not owning one. Um, so just a little bit on that. So achieving and accomplishing and, and all of that too goes back to um, worth, right? And believing you are worth a goddamn because also when you know your skill level, you can say, okay, like I am deserving of getting paid this X amount because I know what the fuck I'm doing, right? And so there's just a lot of, I'm going to say it for the third time, mental fuckery going on um, with tasks that I think are very simple. It's almost like the same thing, like I'm so complicated that um, should be my middle name is like I cannot answer yes or no to a question. That explains that. Um, Okay, so the other thing I wanted to skip to, other than talking about achieving and accomplishing, because you have to want to do those things, right? You want to have to, you want to, you have to want to do a good job, to be motivated, and probably love the thing that you are doing, right? There's all those factors, attitude. Um, the other thing, two things I wanted to talk about, which I'm trying to talk about it in a positive light, I'm just going to go brief on it, is that um, in light of the situation of moving and dealing with, we will call it stress. Okay, it is stress. And there's a lot of dramatics going on. And it continued today when I thought we were almost at the finish line. And um, all that I'm going to say regarding, regarding this and moving forward and dealing with people and actually getting involved with somebody with this house thing, um, right? There's all these people going on, all these different uh, contractors and different things like that. I feel like in some ways though, with human behavior, I've got my bases covered. You know, I understand personality disorders. I understand moods. I understand that people may have a past that affects them like all of us, right? Triggers us in certain ways. So in some ways I feel like I got my bases covered and it's basically like, don't fuck with me, right? So it doesn't mean I'm perfect. It's just, I'm one step ahead of people because I feel like I have this understanding of them. 
and it doesn't excuse the things that they do. It just helps me process and understand. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say is that with that there is just trying to talk positive and um, even using the word stress. Stress doesn't have to be necessarily a bad thing, but I will say my stress level is enhanced. I have to do all my self-care. I actually made a little kit uh, I, that I love. It's so beautiful um, of different things for me where I've put probably a little bit too much, but I love it because it has everything in there. It has Palo Santo healing smudge stick. It has a uh, candle. It has my beautiful Japanese incense. It has my Buddha. It has my crystals. It has um, some writing that I, my Sufi writing, S-U-F-I, if you haven't heard me talk about it, and different things to just help me go within, support it, right? I think like I told you before, it's not one thing you do. It's several things, and there's a lot of things, right? It's only missing tea, but I can't like use it like that right away um except i can burn herbs i guess um okay so moving on from that subject in case that's boring you so this is um last and final section on segment section on love and relationships and people in our lives and i've said this before it it's really kind of i feel like it is a cultural thing this has been my experience for us to be so absorbed in what people are doing thinking and saying right whether it's about us and so and, and really i like it that somebody said it's almost like we should be focusing on what we think of them instead of what they think of us because we attach we attach to these different things that basically just cause us suffering so in a lot of words to put it condensed is that since I am so interested in the human behavior and I'm always, I am still thinking and absorbing, not absorbing, what's the word, um, putting so much energy and focus on those sorts of things, which I think I need to avoid. Um, just looking back, like how much energy and time I spend on that. And we will, I have made myself crazy trying to figure other people out. So there may be things that aren't going to make sense to me as much as I feel like I know soul connections and these people that come to our lot into our lives. And um, personally, personality disorders are real people and narcissism, narcissism, narcissists are one of the most confusing. And if I try to figure them out to any degree or level, it makes me more crazy. So I highly recommend you do your research if you feel like you're going crazy trying to figure somebody out. But um, everybody is on their own journey, learning their own lessons. And um, I think basically the walk away of what I wanted to say is that I'm still doing certain behaviors that I want to let go of and I'm still not doing it. And that's why I need to resort back to, I'm like, okay, if it's not an essential oil, well, it's to the next level. Cause there's certain essential oils you can apply. Like they're called on like alarm points or certain, you know, energy meridians. So that just much like acupressure. And then, um, so this is something aside from like doing hypnosis that, you know, gets into your program, uh, your subconscious and can reprogram it. But um, there are certain things that I am not doing in order to help myself. And so I'm consider I, I notice that I'm doing these certain patterns still. So that just exhausted me talking. And yes, sometimes I get tired of talking with myself or in general. So I do need breaks. And I'm just being tested right now a lot with like what I can handle. I do know that. So that'll be all folks for now. And I will continue on uh, if I wanted. I don't know how long of a segment I'll do. I might actually write this up. I want to talk about cultural, again, the conditioning of like, I'm glad to see certain like older ways or former ways that we're evolving out of and helping us all realize that we are all one 
and we are all the same and I can give relatable examples. I feel like you guys need more relatable examples because I've been working in these different industries and meeting so many different types of people and including other, of course, blue collar, um, you know, different types of, I've always been in blue collar world, but just there's no separation. And I think when we realize there's no separation that we are all going through the same sorts of things, we become more relatable. And when I say that, it means even somebody coming to our house, a contractor, and feeling like there's some sort of divide, especially with the language barrier, um, for those of you who don't live in California, that, um, you know, we have all these different contractors coming to our house and there is a certain level of language language barrier, right? Spanish, because a lot, a lot of them are Mexican. They may be other types of South American too, but I want them to feel comfortable even on a basic level, my two years of Spanish, I can still engage and I still use my very basic level Spanish. So before this episode goes deeper, I do want to talk about us uh, moving forward, and I feel like culturally, right, that we are leaving former ways behind to kind of realize that we, it's all about unity, and we all have problems and can relate to each other, and it really doesn't matter, our, our are even different cultures in America, right, there's always some sort of relatability, and even if you don't know each other's language, like my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law, my sister in Thailand, who basically speaks little to no English. And at this point, in her sad health state, we still communicated in love and we still love each other and were able to have that there and had a beautiful visit just watching videos and stuff of love and loving moments when I was there. So I'm going to end by saying that, okay, people that I wanted to say is that I think I might want to write a little bit more about that, or I will do a video and I'll list the examples in culture that, um, like I just explained now, that I'll, I can actually give situations uh, that's, that can help bond us and, and remind us that we all are going through things. And uh, we can relate if we get to know each other and just be normal, right? Normal as in talking, just like I knew you, like I've known you forever. Don't, don't make a, any sort of barrier, even status, you know, status should not be dividing us where these things that are set up and structured to make it seem like somebody is better than the other person making more when people can literally be making money in minutes now, like minutes compared to an hour of labor or right, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, in one month rather than one year. So, so many examples. Okay, so I will talk to you soon, people, and um, maybe this helped you today. I don't know. Okay, bye.